Aloha everybody, welcome to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris and I want to thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the description box below where you'll find a list of colors and materials that I'll be using in this painting. And also where you'll find links to my art page called Ferris Art on Facebook and as well as my Instagram. So let's get to it. So now I'm starting off here, I've already drawn out the basic shape of the vase with some pencil and so I'm just going to take my flat brush now and dip it into some water that gets the paint flowing a little bit better. And now I've got permanent black, I've got violet and I've got titanium white and so I'm going to go ahead and take this violet and put a little bit of black in it with this titanium white and that's just going to dull down this color and I just want sort of a purplish, sort of dull lavender color that's very light for the background. So now I'm just picking up some titanium white and I want to brighten this area on both sides of the vase and that just indicates where more light's coming through. Okay, so now after a quick dry, I've got permanent black, violet, titanium white, phthalo blue, phthalo green, and right here at the end is cerulean blue. And these are going to be the colors that I'm going to be working with on this. So starting off, I'm just going to take some of that cerulean blue and some black, and I want to make this color dark, and I'm just going to start putting in where the glass is coming together and casting these dark colors. So now I'm going to take my 3 8 angle brush and you can see why it's called an angle brush and so it has this slope on it and it's very good for precisions and so I, when I brush it on my canvas uh, along my fingers you can see I want to go in the direction not back like so but like this way and that's going to help the precision of my lines around the base. So now I'm going to take that cerulean blue again and some of that permanent black mixture into it and now some titanium white and this is just going to be what's going to sort of be like the base color for this vase and on top of this I'm going to vary this blue color back and forth as you'll see and so right here as you can see I'm doing the brushing with my angle brush and these lines you can see are pretty well intact so you can use the brush you want, but for me, I like the angle brush because again, it helps with the lines and it helps with precision. And it's just one of my favorite brushes on stuff like this. Okay, now going into phthalo blue this time and throwing in there some permanent black with it and just going to make this dark color and start putting that in the areas where the glass is going to be really dark. So now I'm going to take that dull lavender background color again with the black and the lavender or the violet and then put some titanium white and then this time I'm going to grab some of that cerulean blue and add that in there with it as well. 
and it makes this color that has a weird name and it's called periwinkle so if you've never heard periwinkle as a color before well now you have so now I'm gonna take that periwinkle now and just sort of come up here with that and sort of base cover that in and blend it down into the blue as well Now I'm going to take some of this phthalo green and put in there with it that cerulean blue and lighten it up with some titanium white and it makes this sort of dulled down sort of turquoise color. And in there that'll be some of this reflective color of this glass going in in certain spots. Now here I have on my palette some raw umber and with that some titanium white to mix into that. And it's just basically this very light dull brown color and I'm even going to put a teeny bit of a hint of that background color in there as well. And so with that just going to scratch that in as well here and there and sort of change up the flavor and mix in more of this sort of reflective color that's going on. Now I'm taking that background color again and this time I'm putting more titanium white in it to brighten it up even more. And so what I want to do here at the bottom sort of area of this bottle is I want to have it look like there's transparency going on where even though the, the glass is blue, the background still kind of shows through it giving that impression that it is a transparent blue looking glass. And so this is going to really help create that. So notice as I take this color up into the blue area, I don't know if you can see, but as I get up there, I want it to blend into the bottle and make this look really natural. And the way I do that is I'm barely touching the canvas as I come up into the blue. And by doing that, it just takes the paint and kind of dusts it, ah, dusts it into the color. So it gives it more of a realistic look that way. So now I've taken some raw umber and some phthalo blue and just a little bit of titanium white to brighten it up just a bit. And so with that I'm just going to change it up again and apply this color here and there. Now taking some cerulean blue and some permanent black and I'm just going back to that base coat color again and I'm going to reapply that in some spots and just build more dimension and depth that way.
Okay, now I'm just giving it a quick dry on medium heat with the hair dryer. And that just helps so that I don't have to wait forever because it's wet where I live here on the island of Hawaii. So I don't want to mess up all this texture I've built because I'm going to add more stuff onto it. And I don't want the colors to mix with that. So with that said, I'm going to take this thalo green and cerulean blue and going back to that turquoise color again. And I'm going to put in just a little bit of this titanium white and some of this violet color and a little bit of raw umber and I'm just gonna basically just kind of brighten up this sort of muted color and with that I'm gonna add that in again down here to give it more transparency like look to it and I just feel like for glass it's weird I don't know what it is but it it seems to take colors from everywhere that's present within the picture and it sort of reflects kind of all of it. So I kind of wanted to do a hint of sort of the background as well as some of the blue glass as well and have it more kind of come together and give it that sort of reflective but yet transparent look at the same time if that makes any sense. So now I've taken some phthalo blue and cerulean blue, mix those together with titanium white. And with that, I'm just gonna brighten up some areas here and there on the top piece up here. Okay, so now taking my script liner brush and I'm going to take some phthalo blue and permanent black and I'm going to make a dark, really dark color here and lots of water on this script liner. And notice how I turn and I roll it to a point like so. And you really want to have a lot of water on this brush when you use this because with the script liner, if you don't have enough water, the lines and your detail work just won't go very well at all. So. I really only like to use this brush when I'm signing a piece and when I'm doing solid detail lines like you see it here. So now I'm just going to vary this color back and forth and I'm going to grab some of this blue and black and then I'm also going to vary the color back by doing raw umber and phthalo blue together and then mixing some white in there at times and that's going to change the flavor of these blues and all these different swirled colors coming together. So now with most of the paint off my script liner, I haven't really wiped it off or cleaned it off that well. And I've put titanium white in there. And I'm just gonna go in and hit some of these areas with some highlights where direct light will be kind of bouncing around in this beautiful array of swirls. Now taking that dull turquoise color and once again applying that.
So taking that dull turquoise color again and this time adding some more permanent black and I've changed the flavor of it once again and that just adds more interest to the eye and more dimension as well. So now with that I'm taking some of this background color again adding more titanium white and once again I'm going to scratch that in here and brighten this up again. Now taking more of that turquoise color again with that cerulean blue and phthalo green and more titanium white and again I'm just going to go in here and brighten up some areas with that. Now with just a little bit of more titanium white into that turquoise color, I'm just going to throw a little streak down like that. And this is just some more brighter, I would say, reflective light that's streaking through there. So with that same highlight color that I put the streaks in with, I'm just going to go in here and just randomly, just in a few spots, just sort of streak in some of these direct highlights. And we'll see a couple of highlights will live right here as well. And now hitting some up here as well and giving it even more dimension. And what the heck, let's put one right here too. Now taking that highlight color again, and this time I did grab a little bit of matte medium because I did want to make it transparent, and I kind of wanted to do this sort of transparent reflective light color. So this kind of raises the stakes a little bit and adds a little bit more dimension even further. Now just grabbing pure titanium white and I'm going to go back into these areas where I had put that light highlight color before. And I don't want to cover all of that highlight color up because it's going to look like a little bit of a glow from this brightness that's hitting it.
now for the shadow that it's casting, I'm going to be putting down some raw umber into the background mixture that I made with some titanium white. And I'm just going to fill that in with that. And now while the paint's still wet, I'm taking just pure titanium white. I have not cleaned my brush off. And I just want to knock that color down a little bit more. And just want it more muted and more quiet like so. Okay, and so with the same colors again, and this time without any titanium white, I'm going to make this shadow right here in the shape of this triangle like you see. And this is going to be the darkest part of this shadow. So even as the glass has reflective light playing through it, so the shadow has this reflective shadow playing through it. So this is the darkest part here. And then so right underneath it, I'm going to be putting just permanent black and it's going to be where the glass makes contact right here and then just sort of fade that out into this lighter color. And so that's going to be the direct shadow underneath this. Again, that same color and a little bit more titanium white so now this value is in between the quiet muted shadow and then the dark one we just did and so now again this just shows even more interest in the way that this shadow play is going on just picking up more titanium white and I'm just going to quiet that down just a little bit more. And so now without cleaning my brush I'm going to go in there with that muted turquoise color and I want to cast some of that into the shadow and show that some of this color is also playing in this shadow as well. Okay, so with my script liner brush now, I'm taking some of this dark blue and black, and with that I'm just going to take and do this squiggly, sort of distorted looking line that reflects some of that swirly pattern going on. And then on top of that, some highlight color, which is some titanium white here and there. And then I'm also going to touch up here with some of that titanium white where direct light's hitting some of these highlights. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to take my script liner brush again and lots of water and permanent black and just going to go ahead and sign this piece and thank you so much guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and if anybody wants to see anything painted of any subject or a certain picture, please comment down below. I'd love to paint anything you guys would like to see. So until next time guys, happy painting.